Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at various ways to add or remove columns and rows from your Excel spreadsheets. To start with the basics, one simple way to add a column between column C and D on my example candy store spreadsheet is to right click column D and select insert. And that'll insert a column to the left of your originally selected column. The same can be done with rows. So if I highlight row five, right click and select insert, it'll insert a brand new row above my selected row. One easy way to add additional rows or columns is to press F4 on your keyboard to repeat your previous action. You can do this as many times as needed. You can also select Ctrl plus Y on the keyboard to perform this action. Now let's discuss how you can add multiple rows or columns at once. Let's say that I want to add three columns to my spreadsheet. I can highlight three columns, right click and select insert. And that'll add three blank columns for me to the left of my selected columns. The same can be done with rows. If I highlight three rows, for example, right click and select insert, three blank rows will be inserted. Another easy way to add rows or columns to your spreadsheet is by using the keyboard combination Control Shift Plus. For example, if I highlight column C and select Control Shift Plus on the keyboard, I can insert one column and you can press the plus key as many times as desired to keep adding columns. Same thing goes for rows. If I use Control Shift Plus, I can continue adding as many rows as desired. In a situation where you want to add non-adjacent rows or columns to your spreadsheet, you can do so by holding down the control key and clicking the column or row headers. For example, if I want to add a column to the left of column B and to the left of column E, I can select column B, hold down the control key and select column E. Then when I right click and select insert, I have two new columns in my selected location. Finally, let's talk about how you can easily delete rows or columns from your data. One simple way is to click the column header, right click and select delete, and that'll remove the column from your data. If you wanna delete multiple rows, you can highlight each of the rows you wanna delete, right click and select delete. And the same can be done for columns as well. As a final pro tip, let's take a look at the keyboard shortcut for deleting rows or columns, which is control plus the minus key. So if I highlight column B and select control plus minus, the column is deleted. The same thing can be done for rows. So I'll highlight a couple of rows here, select control plus minus on the keyboard, and those rows are gone. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about other ways you manage your rows or columns in your spreadsheets.